There is uh, always this uh, saying that uh, with drug coated balloons you cannot sleep at night because you have to get up and uh, the lesion gets unstable and closes down. Um, we have good results. We have large randomized trials. Um, Basket Small, for example, was a trial where we didn't have one single uh, vessel closure in the DCB group. On the other hand, um, all uh, vessel closures we had in the trials, the, these were the acute stent thrombosis. And so I would rather be, uh, be uh, a little bit worried about your night's sleep when you use drug eluting stents in a, in a lesion that is not properly uh, probably um, 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 uh, worked on before. The best sleep I have is when my patient has a good result in the coronaries. So re you really had to convince people that you can sleep well at night, but also you had to create the, you know, research to show then that it really is working. Um, we were able to show our go governmental office that uh, everything is going very well. There are no acute complications. Uh, the patients are not getting back. The risk of acute closure is very low. After DCP only, it's about 0.2% as compared to stenting, which is about 0.5 to 1%. So the, my, my message is that you can sleep tight in, in the evenings and uh, there's no uh, uh, risk of, of getting uh, back to the hospital at night. I started my, my career as a physician in training in the mid-90s when uh, stents became workhorse in interventional cardiology and at this time we had to deal with acute and subacute stent closure rates in the range between 5 to 10 percent. Uh, and um, then the, the treatment was changed to do lightly plated therapy and this nightmare was over. So the reason why stents uh, let you sleep at night is not, not a stent itself. It is, the, it is the medical treatment we are doing around this. Um, and uh, for angioplasty, this has never been investigated. What we know is that uh, dissections are the mechanism of angioplasty, but uh, we have different types of dissections, and dissections type A and B are benign. They have excellent outcomes. Um, the risk of acute vessel closure starts with type C or dissections or higher grade than, than C. Um, and the beauty of the DCB only concept is that we, we first prep the vessel and we identify those lesions that have relevant dissections and we uh, can exclude them from, from balloon treatment only and, and treat them with stent. But those lesions that look good after lesion preparation have an extremely low risk uh, for acute and subacute vessel closure. And if you look at all the data of the randomized trials of the registry we have, the acute and subacute vessel closure rate after DCP only is extremely low. What we see is in the range between 0 and 0.2%. So this is this clearly lower than, than the numbers we have for truck loading stands.